Hey there, Scorpio. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of December 25th. This week, uh, my computer is acting up as usual. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what's going on. Yeah, I, I think that um, you are feeling like you want to take initiative over something or you want to, you know, you kind of want to start something. For a lot of you, I think it's in business or work or money. And for others of you, I think it could be relationships or just some other part of your life. Um, you start off as a queen of hearts, which is you. Uh, you also have the king of hearts, which is also you. So you're showing up like as two different things. I think part of it is that some of you could be working from home with that king of hearts. And um, I feel like the queen of hearts could actually be love coming into your life. Um, it could be male or female. Again, I don't attach sex to my card. So uh, it could be either or, whatever you're interested in. Uh, I do feel like this could be somebody new coming in. Now, this card, it, it it represents the mother. It represents uh, the birth of something new. It represents birth in general. But again, I get the distinct feeling that for a lot of you Scorpios, it could represent um, kind of like the beginnings of a new relationship. Like maybe you see somebody for the first time this week. And again, maybe the relationship doesn't start, but maybe uh, this is kind of like the beginning of that for you. Again, for the rest of you, I feel like you feel like, I feel like you feel like you're on the edge of something. I feel like you are kind of ready to, you know, kind of uh, step up and do something new with your life. Next, you have the Four of Clubs. A lot of people get in this card this week. Again, it is a card that represents the Mercury retrograde to me. Um, but, um, you know, I also feel like it represents very clear thoughts as well. So, I, I, you know, part of me feels like for you, it just represents very clear thoughts, thinking very clearly and kind of, uh, you know, kind of being in line with the truth. I think it's more or less, I think what it is saying is that you know exactly what you need to do right now to be successful in all areas. I think you just have to do it uh, right now. Next, you have the Eight of Diamonds. Again, a lot of people have been getting this. Uh, if you didn't see my post um, that I posted last week, I will try to remember to post it below all the videos. Um, and in that post, I said that, you know, this year we have to pay attention to the, to the little details this year if we want to be really successful. If there are details that we can't pay attention to, then we need to get somebody or have somebody or set something up that pays attention to those details for us. Um, that's a very general statement. And it is very general. I think that for like those of you in business, it's like maybe you hate doing your taxes. And so maybe it's time to hire somebody to do that. Or maybe you don't like doing paperwork in your business or something. And again, maybe it's time to hire somebody to get somebody to do that because, um, again, small details are very important. So I think uh, delegation is uh, also going to be important as well um, this year. Uh, even if you don't have a business, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, it could be just something in your life. And again, maybe you have a partner who could, you know, help take something over in your life that they could pay more attention to than you can. And I really think that part of me feels like uh, that uh, I feel very split at this time. That's why I keep saying part of me. But I think most of me really feels like that the universe is trying to get us to focus on what's like truly important for us and is trying to get us away from doing things that are not important. You know, a lot of people waste a lot of time, you know, doing things that they just don't need to be doing that somebody else could do or, you know, that they're not good at doing in the first place. So I think it's kind of like one of those things. The universe is trying to teach us like what's important to do in life and what's not important. And I think we could be making a lot of those de decisions at this time uh, with this card. Next, you have the Ten of Diamonds. Card of uh, success, great success, more money coming in, making more money. It's also a card that represents secret knowledge. I'd say for all water signs, it's super important at this time with uh, Pluto and Capricorn, more, uh, you know, most specifically to um, kind of dig underneath things, to not just accept things at face value, um, everything that goes on in your life, and also anything you want to do, um, you know, whether it's start a new business, start a relationship, or just, you know, uh, you know, take a different route to work or something like that. I think all of this stuff requires um, exploration and digging. I think that the name of the game this year for water signs is going to be uh, exploration, um, you know, trying new things, stepping outside your comfort zone. And uh, if you do that, you could find uh, everything that you are looking for and more, especially with this card. Next, you have the King of Hearts. Again, I think this is you showing up this week. Um, a lot of you could be getting a lot of power from home, a lot of support from home. I think that's why this card is coming up. Uh, so very good card there. And I also think this card is representing returns, things returning to you. I think that you just feel like your power is returning to you at this time. And finally, you have the Ten of Hearts, uh, fortune after difficulty again, um, and a card of great success and good things coming in for you. So you have these two tens, really, really nice. This card is also a great card for dating and networking if you are interested in those things. But again, I think that it's kind of like your return to power this week is what I would say. And I think that's kind of the focus and, and also making these decisions about what's important for you to do and what isn't. So uh, yeah, it looks really good. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.